Am I the A for ruining our family dinner after a comment about my smile? We're currently on a family vacation, myself, husband, two kids, and my parents. A little background. My mom is odd, and my dad has commented as long as I can remember that she and I are like oil and water. I can't even put her oddness completely into words, other than to say she feels competitive over my father's attention. Not even with just me, but also with her grandsons. If my father wanted to read them a story or tuck them in bed, she interrupts and tells him it's time for him to go to sleep. It's incredibly cringy to watch. The other pertinent fact is that I have chronic pain. Every avenue has been exhausted. My successful career is gone, but my mom always downplays it acting like I just had a little headache when she knows that I am never not in pain. In contrast, she is constantly looking for a reason to see a new doctor. Every tiny twinge is the end of the world for her. So tonight, we were set to go out for our first family dinner. We get to the lobby, everyone's dressed up, and it's decorated for Christmas, so I'm getting pictures. I finally asked my dad if he would take a picture of our family of four. As we're posing with our children in front, I see my mother go right up next to my dad and yell out, Stop that! You need to fix your smile! I honestly think she's talking to one of our boys, since I can't see their faces. I add in, okay, nice smiles. However, my mom interjects again. No, you, my name. Your smile is horrible. It looks like she takes her fingers, puts them on either side of her mouth and pulls one up and the other down while tilting her head. I'm honestly baffled as I am genuinely smiling. I realize that my smile probably doesn't extend to my eyes like it used to as a result of the pain, but she's acting like I was doing a goofy face. I go to reset, and she once again yells, Stop making that face! At this point, I'm angry. I leave the pose, get the phone from Dad, pick up my purse, and start walking towards the restaurant. But she's not done. She hurries after me and continues to tell me how I need to look at the photos and see how awful my smile was. I did. It was not. There was nothing wrong with the picture. The fact that she kept going on and on, justifying her actions. I was finally just done. I stopped walking, told my husband, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go back to the room and that he and the kids could go to dinner without me. I was on fire with anger, which gave way to tears as soon as I was out of her presence. So in my mind, and maybe everyone else's, I'm the one who ruined the dinner, and I probably did. I should be able to just let her words roll off me. I feel like a shell of my former self from everything I've lost to this devouring pain. Now, I can't even smile correctly. However, I'm pretty sure I'm being the A to the people I love the most, and that makes the whole thing even worse. Now for the top comments. Not the A. Your mom is deliberately mentally tormenting you. When she starts again, tell your husband, I'm sorry, but my mom will not be joining us. Dad can if he wants to, but not my mother. Say it where she can hear. Warn him ahead of time of your plan. He needs to back you up in this. If it is something with reservations, tell the hostess there has been a change of plans. It's only for four or five, and mother will not be joining you. Do not leave your husband and children in her grasp. Your children need to see you stand up for yourself. Continue that for the rest of the trip. When you get home, you may want to think about going no contact with her. Physical pain makes it harder to deal with others' BS. Dealing with their BS makes it harder to deal with the pain. I know. My doctor, psychologist, and therapist 
have all been through this with me. Chronic pain for over 45 years has taught me a lot. I distance myself from people who are critical too often. Good luck. Time to get rid of the biggest pain in your life, your mom. Go no contact. I have a feeling your chronic pain may be your body on overload from the constant tension and mental abuse from your mom. As for your mom, I know some are saying narcissist, which may be the case, but does definitely sound like some undiagnosed mental issue. OP, even though this is your mom and not a mother-in-law, I still recommend the book Toxic In-Laws by Dr. Susan Forward. It's an older book, so your local library will probably have it. She does a great job defining different types of toxic people and gives practical tips on how to deal with them. I'm so sorry your mom is so mean. I'm sure you have a beautiful smile. Hugs from the internet stranger if you want them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.